I just got off the phone with the young hustlers, got a meeting with them this morning at Panera Bread uh, to discuss some landscaping business opportunities. But we're both a little bit late, and it's too late now because I have 10 landscaping quotes back to back to back all day. So I have to reschedule with that tomorrow. Got to run and drop off this trailer real quick at the shop. And let's go. These proven locks are awesome. Check out the link in the description below to get a proven lock. And not only is it all locked up with cables all over the place, there's 24 hour surveillance cameras on it too. And on top of that, there's no two cycle equipment or machines or blowers or anything in the trailer. The only thing that's in the trailer is some hand tools, a couple shovels, a couple wheelbarrows, some tarps, ropes. I don't know, nothing of any value. <laughs> oh, water. Check these out. I take these every single day. I'm not selling this or promoting this even though I used to. It's called alkaline boosters. I'm not allowed to say what it does, but it's got Himalayan crystal salt, minerals, sodium bicarbonate, which increases the alkalinity in your body and all types of just awesome stuff. So it increases the alkaline level in your body. Really, 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 really good. Look up the book, The PH Miracle by Dr. Young on Audible. Beautiful book. Gotta run up inside of Wine Guards for a second. Man, have you ever seen the, uh, I did a video up in here. Every spring they have an open house. I'll put a link in the description below. They have everything in here that you possibly need to, you know, tools for your, your landscaping and lawn care and snow removal business. Let's take a look. Thing is sweet dude look at this thing I gotta buy this now we're just pulling the landscape trailer behind this bro check this out tell me this thing is sick really look pretty good in there oh yeah dude I want to pull up on a landscape job like this Hey, you guys gotta see the dashboard. Oh, it's dope, it's dope, it's dope. Go ahead, take your woman out on a date and pull up in this. It's got a winch, dog. So now I like legit need to buy parts. Take a number, any number. Okay, that was a nice little $6,700 property quote to um, um, rip out everything, all the rocks, and then replace it with weed bear, fabric pins, mulch, a couple plants, just clean up the whole property. It'll take us like three full days to do it. Cool, 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 cool. Hope we get it. Just got off of a conversation. I made sure I got a hold of the, the person who makes the decisions. Uh, financially and had a very detailed in-depth conversation with them and described the process of what we're gonna do on their landscaping job uh, meticulously so they understand exactly what they're going to get uh, something's changing and, and if you're newer in your business when you're con when you have a sense of conviction and you're not trapped in your feelings other people can feel that and they want to work with you because they don't want to worry. They'd rather pay a little bit extra to know for a fact that it's going to get done right. So there's a landscape business owner here in Michigan that I look up to. He mentored me a little bit. I got him to go out to lunch with me and he has like six or seven crews. His crews have to do a minimum 2,500 a day before they can even turn the key. They can't even leave the yard unless it's at least 2,500 bucks. And the guy's like probably in his fifties, but he's super mature, like Italian dude. And, um, when he talks on the phone, like you know you're talking to the boss man. Hello, this is Joe. Yes. Affirmative. Affirmative. 
like just when you talk to them, the sense of certainty, there's no bullshit, and you just, you know that you're dealing with the effing, the MF CEO. Look up Andy Frisella. <laughs> Andy Frisella on YouTube, dude's awesome. All right, peace. So my new secretary puts the address and all the info right on the Google Calendar, so I just click the button and it takes me to the address. All right, and the next quote, this Bradford pear tree trimming quote. I already know how much they cost. But if we're coming all over here just to trim it. Paper quote and a digital quote. Here's my quote sheet. I can't let you see my customer info. But it's going to be 350 bucks to trim, to, to prune and elevate that tree. And then just get the tips around the outside and thin out the inside. Quick tip, if you got scotch tape and paper clips, that's all you need, scotch tape, paper clips. When you do a handwritten quote, watch this. Okay, so when you do a handwritten quote, are you supposed to give the copy, the yellow copy, the customer the yellow copy or the white copy? I was told specifically by a printing company, the company, you get the customer gets the white copy and then people are giving me the yellow copy. Let me know in the comments below, dog, because I want to know. So I take the business card, put it right to it, right? And you take the paper clip and you don't actually even need a paper clip because you could just take the scotch tape. That piece is super dirty. Watch me. You take the scotch tape and then you make the business card just a little bit lower and then you take 50% of the tape, put it on there, and then take your thumbnail in there, that little crease, press, and now you go like that little piece and you rub it and you put it on the on their front door on the window. You don't even need a paper clip. Scotch tape now. I gotta put this on Instagram. Okay, bye. So that customer just called. They said that they trimmed their trees themselves and they want to know if we'll come pick up the debris. I said, no, I'm sorry, we do not offer that service. Okay, goodbye. See, I'm not like angry about it now, but I think that if you're saying yes to, you already know where I'm going with it. All right, I gotta stop home real quick. Okay, Google, navigate me home. Okay, home. Take the next right onto Welland Drive, then turn left onto Rivergate Drive. Okay, gotta stop home real quick, feed the dogs, and let them out. Oh, who's the doggy? Oh, oh. My baby, oh, you act like I've been gone for 20 years. What are you doing? It's okay. Here's an amazing book. Um, what's an amazing book? Here's an amazing book. Amazing book. This little dog. Oh, I love this dog. She's, oh, she's a baby. But I, I'm literally, I'm like, you know, I need to shut up about this because... You guys are in the comments, you would have kids. It would be the most amazing feeling to have my own baby. A real baby. Best health insurance. We gotta get a house with a baby's room. What am I gonna do? Bring the baby with me on landscape quotes? Yeah, I'm here to give you a landscape quote. And here's my baby. But I'll make you a deal. When I have a real baby, I will vlog it. Well, I won't vlog it. But I'll vlog me holding the baby and I'll probably be crying. Oh, if you want to send me mail, send it to my office, 13854 Lakeside Circle, suite number 233, Sterling Heights, Michigan, 48313. Link is in the description below. So I was gonna drop off food to my wife's work. You know, on Saturdays, I always like to bring her lunch. And I'll call her up at 1 p.m. I'm like, I'm bringing you the, I'm gonna bring you this awesome, like, veggie BLT from this good place. She was like, no, don't, don't bring me anything and don't eat. I thought we were gonna eat dinner tonight. It's 12 o'clock. She, she thinks because she likes to eat once a day that I, I'm not gonna eat and I'm gonna wait all day. I'm eating. I purposely, if I know I'm gonna have dinner with my wife at 6, 7 p.m., I will purposely eat before that. 
because I know we by the, by the time the actual bite of food actually enters your mouth, it's gonna be like like 8 p.m. So I purposely eat before that so I'm not starving to death and then the food and then I wolf down the food and get in a fight with her because I'm eating too fast. And a little trick right there, you get a hood. <laughs> okay, so we're not up in here, I'm like, this food's been ready for like a half an hour. This place is awesome. It's called the Clean Plate and they have like all organic vegan food. It's delicious, their BLT is amazing. I'm gonna show you. And so everything in here is absolutely delicious. I get the BLT and I ordered some for my wife, but I didn't tell her because she don't want it, so I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. Dude, that was a little uncomfortable. The whole restaurant, everybody stopped what they were doing and looked at me like, what's this guy doing? And I was like, oh, I'm doing YouTube, dog. <laughs> Just hit 10 million views on YouTube as of last month. I told everybody in the restaurant, I'm like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. I just hit 10 million views on YouTube. And they were like, oh, and they went back to eating. Thanks for 10 million views. Thank you for 56,000 subscribers. So let me show you this BLT. Oh, shit, dog. Look at this. Oh, my God. It doesn't have bacon. Oh, I can't wait to go in And delicious. Don't get that number. Okay. Call's coming in. Thank you for calling Kelpha Services. This is Keith. How can I help you? Awesome. I don't know, but I just talked to that customer on the phone for like 10 minutes and I said, can I ask you something, Bob? I went there, I noticed you had this big pool being installed, this monster pool, and I started laughing. He's like, well, blah, blah, blah. he's in my wife and my kids. I said, and I said, if you don't mind me asking, uh, and I just, I just have, I think I have this way to listen. So like you, you, like you've been married for this many years and a wife and kids, man, you must like work your ass off. Like, like how did you pull all that off? And then I just don't say anything. And then the customer from that point, if it's just right, dude, they'll just give you all this wealth of information and knowledge and they'll just let you know so much amazing stuff if they can feel that you're being authentic. And I said, sometimes I don't even care if I get the job or not, if I could just get a massive amount of wisdom from a customer over the phone. But usually they like you and then they'll be able to hire you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty five. Man, there's a lot of weird windows here. Thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, two, six, three, four, sixty five, sixty six, forty up top. Four times, and then they want in and out up top. They want. Outside only, whole thing, outside only, bottom. Inside only, bottom, inside only, top, whole thing. Outside only, all, and then inside just the bottom. I literally don't even want to do this quote. It's easy, cowfish. I do it all the time. So at least I got it on video. Hear me out. I wish, I wish, I wish I could literally take this camera on live property quotes with customers and stick the camera in their face and share the entire conversation and process but you can't do that in the real world people would be like they would <laughs> you can't do that but anyways this customer was not comfortable with me filming on his property right and i'm not going to sit there and explain it but with the quote with the customer i called uh, rico suave his name is Daniel Maravel, he's the professional arborist, the certified arborist uh, for my last couple videos ago. I'll put a link in the description below the video. You gotta see this video. And the customer had a fungal infection on the Japanese maple tree, which was a, a vermicillium fungus or something. Uh, I'll look it up here. And so I called him up right in front of the customer and got all this super powerful gold information Oh, he says, don't ever hesitate to reach out. G says, uh, Daniel Maravel, shout out. 
dude. So, oh, I gotta pull over. Check this out. Okay, verticillium wilt on Japanese maples. It's like a fungal infection that makes the leaves curl up and fung fungus goes all over the tree. And so basically that probably just sold that job for us because it created all this value for the customer. So for like a thousand bucks, we're gonna come up and trim up uh, some ornamental trees and some shrubs. Oh yeah, I couldn't click with the customer. I can build a rapport where he really liked me, right? I'm not trying to be manipulative, but I'm really trying to gain a career create a relationship that's real okay <laughs> i swear to god i really am now listen do you ever purposely point your finger around to try to find certain subjects or topics to get your in to get the customer talking about themselves the customer mentioned something about oh i just everything's good with me i just want to double check with the wife so that just told me a whole bunch of information just based on that and then i just randomly said this is a little bit personal but um, I was driving with my, my wife up to Traverse City this last weekend and then I said something that I wasn't even aware that like it, it triggered her and got her mad and I'd said something that was disrespectful and the next thing you know she was all upset and I didn't even know what I did and I just said that randomly and the guy goes and, and you didn't even know what you did at the same time and now he's like now granted you have no idea who this customer is I'm not sharing any personal information about the clients. So nobody knows who this is, but the customer finished my sentence for me. There's a saying that if you can describe a problem even better than they can, they will automatically assume that you must know the answer. I'm not saying I know the answer, but we found a common ground and then they got the customer laughing. Dealing with people in sales and, and selling, it's not selling, it's just dealing with people is, is can go both ways <laughs> 6 p.m. almost 6 and I'm still out doing quotes now I gotta drive all the way across the city to go so I'm at this last property it was booked for me there's a mistake making that I have no idea what the customer actually even wants done I'm just here so I'm just gonna walk around and take some pictures and store it. we'll be working right in this area again on Monday and that's what it is looks like the customers getting home right now cool quick little tip just left that quote awesome customer learned all about the country in Greece but every single job almost every single job I take uh, my phone and I take a video clip of the property real quick and I describe everything and I save it to a private secret YouTube channel so I have it all video documented so I can go back and see it all now with the wife trying to go and get some Chinese food dog First, what? Joanne's. Joanne, what? Fabrics, y'all. Why are you gonna go to Joanne Fabrics? Because that's my second home. Don't you know that? Second I, home. Second home. I live there. I'm there every day. I'm really old. Let's go to Joanne Fabrics. That's cool. Who's the doggy? Yeah, Alright, guys, that's the end of this vlog. I know it's not very exciting, me being in a truck all day, but it's a reality. So, anyways, I wish you the best of success. She's exciting. She's exciting. And I'll see you soon in the next oh, vlog. Later. Oh.